let's move on to my 2010 favorites highly requested I usually don't do favorites I do I've tried to do like um seasonal favorites like summer favorites winter favorites fall favorites but I haven't really been sticking to that so all right let's do like the whole year um, I might be forgetting a couple products but we will see um, how well I do so I'll start with blush because I have a lot of favorite blushes my third favorite blush is Exhibit A by NAR. This is what it looks like. It's very small and compact. A crazy red color. It looks crazy, but just a little tiny itsy bitsy of its stuff is just extremely pigmented and crazy, so you just have to be really careful with control of it. Take my favorite brush, which is also in my 2010 favorite. This brush is $3 at e.l.f., and it's a powder brush. And I just dip it once, and if you're really scared that you're gonna mess up, dip it, like kind of pat it onto your skin a little, get out of the fallout and like the excess off, and then do away and then downward motions. So kind of like that on your cheekbones. Another of my favorite blush is um, Dolce Vita by NARS, and this is a lot easier to control because it's kind of like that berry rose color so you don't really have to be too um, scared of caking it on or like putting too much and looking like a clown. This one, this MAC cream blush, it's called Posy. It is really pretty. I have it on my lips right now. You can put it on your cheeks, your lips, whatever. But it is such a pretty color. Um, it's a cream blush so usually with cream blushes they blend better, but you have to apply like a liquid base or a cream base foundation and not like a powder base so it can blend a lot better um, with one another. And then my favorite bronzer, Laguna by NARS. This is the second thing of bronzer that I have for, uh, for Laguna and it's my favorite because I used all the other ones. So I got another one and look, you can see the pan, which means that I am going to be done with this soon. And also, another um, one of my favorite blushes, it's called Cool Dust and it's from The Body Shop. I have it on my cheeks right now. This is great for highlighting and you can mix them both for blush. Um, it is so pretty and shimmery and radiant. I love it. And this is from Stila. It's a lip and cheek stain in Pomegranate Crush. And there's also something else from Stila that I really like to use on my lips and it's a cheeks and lips um, duo and it's in a compact in a circle thing it's in pomegranate also but I can't find it I'll put a picture of up right now it's called the Stila lip and cheek convertible in pomegranate let's move on to our eyes and a couple of my favorite liners actually drugstore the first one is the liquid liner it's Revlon's color stay liquid liner I have been using this for years ever it is great, it is, um, this is in black, it's black, it is really dark, it stays on, doesn't smudge, just an awesome liner, I really like it. And the Revlon Color Stay Pencil, it's in black, it's black also, and you can twist it up. And this is also, um, I've been using it for so long, and sticking to it. Stuff that I use to line my waterline, this is the Rimmel Pure White Pencil Liner. Um, this is just a pencil. It's kind of dirty, you know, because I haven't sharpened it for a while, but unlike the Revlon's twisty pencil, this is just a nor normal pencil that you have to sharpen. And this, which I love, but it's in a different thing. I think I got the wrong one, but I like the Definisil uh, Mascara from Lancome, and this is called Definisil Precious Cells, which is a little different. I like the Definisils better, but... This one is okay. Just showing it to you guys because it looks exactly like the Definisil. That's why I got the wrong one and I started using it so I couldn't return it. And my all-time favorite mascara primer is this and it makes my eyelash just super long and the mascara stay on for a really long time. It's the Sills Booster by Lancome. I've tried Shiseido's primer and it isn't as good. Like a lot of people rave about it but this is so much better. This beats the Shiseido one. By far. And then this Avon Super Shock Mascara. I usually don't like Avon or use Avon, but this is actually really, really good and affordable. It's um, just got the normal kind that's not waterproof. And then my favorite NARS eyeshadow. It's kind of dirty, I know, because it's broken inside. 
It's Galapagos. It's like a pretty brown color. I don't want to mess it up because it's bro like extremely broken already, but it's amazing. It's a medium brown color and has gold flecks in it, and it's so pretty. My favorite lip products. I only have two here, but I'm sure I have more. It's Chihuahua by NARS. And this MAC lipstick in the color Cindy. It's an off-red color. And probably another of my 2010 favorite is Burt's Bees Lip Balm, which I don't have with me because the last time I had it, it melted when it was accidentally put into my pocket. I accidentally put it in the washer and it just got destroyed. So I can't show it to you guys, but I really like it also. So here's a picture of it in case you don't know what Burt's Bees looks like. I forgot to mention another of my favorite lip glosses is NARS Dolce Vita. This is my favorite translucent powder. It was 30 bucks, and you can barely see that it's barely gone. You can see that it's barely gone. Um, I've been using this forever. Probably bought it within the year, but most of it is there. And it minimizes your pores, keeps your face matte. It's just a really good product. My favorite, 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 favorite foundation would have to be my Misha BB Cream. I cannot live without the stuff. Um, I also like the Nara Sheer Glow Foundation, but this stuff is the bomb. It's probably my third tube. I love this stuff. My mom and my aunt both love it also because they have bought countless amounts of tubes also. Um, this is in the color 23. There's only comes in two shades, which is a big bummer because, you know, some girls um, aren't in that two shade range and they can't try it out but it's so good so much coverage um i just love it and i just broke this a couple days ago because i dropped it but this is my favorite um face it's not really a face cream it helps tone your face it keeps your complexion really nice and clear it helps um with acne and it's really helped my complexion even out so much and I really really like this stuff. This is my third tube. The first two were actually sent to me from HGO but this one was given to me from my boyfriend for Christmas. So I'm so glad that I have it. Um, I'm definitely going to go out and buy it once this is gone. H2O C Results Overnight Perfecting Peel. This stuff is amazing. I swear to you guys with my life that this stuff is the bomb. And my favorite scent is Burberry the Beat. I've been wearing this so much and look how much is gone. Barely any. But this is definitely my favorite scent. I love it. It smells so feminine yet like I don't know just everything mixed perfectly into this bottle here. It just mm, smells so good. And I have a lot of um, favorite nail polish colors but my definite, definite top Favorite color is this one. It's Corda Recentiary by OPI. Love it, love it, love it. This is just an amazing color and I love it so much. And just, you know, the generic um, black nails. This is called Black Onyx from OPI. Nothing too different, but I still like wearing black nails, you know, short black nails sometimes, a lot of the time. And whenever I feel like having nudie nails, this is my go-to color. It's called Mucho De Nero from Essie. I'm sure I've bought this for a couple of my friends also, because that's how much I love this color. Mm -hmm. Oh, Holden's crying. I don't think he's feeling so well. He's sleeping on the couch next to me. And my favorite um, purplish color that I actually recently got at the end of the year is this. It's by NARS. It's called Purple Rain. I wore it in a recent video and I've been asked so much about what color it is. And this stuff, you only need one coat and it's extremely pigmented. It was probably, I think it was like 16 bucks, which is really expensive for nail polish. But it's so worth it because you just need one coat and it's just perfect. So I really, really like it. It comes out so vibrant on your nails. And last but not least, um, lotion. I love to use lotions and body washes that smell like vanilla. So this is just an example of what I usually like. Just thick, like creamy lotion. This is from the Body Shop. It was last year's holiday collection and it smells so good. 
It's like a vanilla smell. I love vanilla smell. Like I like cookies and vanilla and cupcake smells because it smells like really sweet and good. Last but not least, this is not a part of my favorites because I haven't had the chance to explore all the colors completely, but I was at Carly's yesterday and she gave me this. I guess while I was away, she got this for me when it came out. Um, I think it was in stock at Sephora for a day or two. So she got it for me. Um, what an awesome best friend. Like, who can ask for a better one? So I got the palette. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes right now. Thank you. I love you. Awesome. You can't stop smiling from ear to ear, but yeah. I knew she was going to get this for me too because someone t uh, tweeted her and I saying like, oh, the Naked palette is in stock again. So when she told me that she got me something, I was so sure that it was a Naked palette. And I guess she got it before even the person tweeted us. So if the person didn't tweet us, I wouldn't have known what she would gotten me. And she's telling me how mad she was because she's like, oh, I want to surprise you. But they tweeted when they tweeted you, like, I knew you were going to know. That concludes my 2010. My voice is like going out right now. My throat really hurts for some reason. I think it's because of the bright lights shining at me. It's really hot. But um, that concludes my 2010 favorites. And I hope that I didn't leave out anything too important. Those are a majority of the things that I have been loving for um, the year, if not years. A lot of stuff I've been using over and over again because I am a creature of habit and I always go back and use exact same stuff that works for me. So I like to explore too, but I usually stick with what works. I hope you guys um, just found a new product that you might love as much as I love it. And yeah, um, happy new year. And I hope your New Year resolution will be successful, as mine will be, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.